right, folks. We'll be getting underwater in just a minute or two. And as this speed bump gets by. Y'all can do a little better than that. I said, howdy. Howdy. All right. I'd like to welcome y'all aboard my Vink Keelboats. Just to let you know y'all are on board the Bertha May. So named because old Bertha May or Bertha may not make it all the way around the river today. Now really, folks, the Bertha May here is one of the finest keelboats ever to float the River America. Of course, we do have only two keelboats ever to float the River America. Yeah, but even if we did have a dozen of these boats, I'm quite sure that this one here would still be in the top, oh, 10 or 12, probably. By the way, folks, my name is Dan. I will be your skipper, your captain, your guide, your navigator, your Indian translator, your alligator wrestler, your rain dancer, and, well, probably even your swimming instructor today. And, folks, while we are out here today, we do ask that you all please remain seated at all times. Even if you do get the urge to jump up and applaud one of my hilariously funny jokes, well, sit back down and we'll try and get you some psychiatric help when we get back to shore. Now, folks, while we are out here today, along with staying seated at all times, well, the only other law which we must follow is called the law of the river. Now, the law of the river does say women and children first. So if we should spring a leak and we do begin to sink, well, then I do need all you guys to do me a favor. I need you to please help all the women and the children off the boat and into the water. And then, guys, just stay seated, because once we get rid of all of them, well, we ought to make it back to shore safe and dry. Oh, now, folks, if you all take a look off to your left, everybody see that bodacious mountain there? Well, folks, that there is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now that mountain stands a whopping 196 feet, 12 inches tall. That does make it the tallest mountain in all of Central Florida. Of course, that could be because it's the only mountain in all of Central Florida. Oh, now, folks, if y'all take a look off to your right, well, you'll get to see my cousin Zeke's brand new cabin. Oh yeah, that's it there. Well, looks like Cousin Zeke's having himself a little housewarming party. <laughs> well now folks, as we round this corner, if y'all take a quick look off to your left, you'll get to see old Beacon Joe. He can Joe's kind of the eyes and ears of the river here. Always keeps his fish in line in the water, trying to catch old Clarence the wonder fish over there. Oh, now, folks, if you all take a look off to my left, everybody see that Indian tribe over there? 
Oh, folks, don't be scared of them, okay? They're a real friendly bunch. Matter of fact, the fellow by the fire over there, he's an old friend of mine. Oh, now, folks, as we come around this corner, if y'all look to your left and up on that hill up there, y'all see that tall wooden thing? Anybody know what we call that? No? Well, folks, we here in Florida call that a tree. Yeah. Uh, but did y'all see that really funny looking thing up there with the four legs? Folks, that there's known as an ancient Indian burial mound. Now, that's where they lay to rest all of the braves who've died in battle. And also all of the keelboat pilots whose jokes were especially bad. And yeah, they tell me I'm destined for that spot. Oh, folks, you hear all of that noise that's coming from that cave on our right there? Folks, that place here, it's known as the Pirate Cave. Now, they tell me that that place is filled with river pirates and spellbusters, outlaws, and, well, probably one or two of your in-laws, too. It's just not a real friendly place, I'm afraid. Well, good news, folks, reaching this point in the river, it does mean that your tour is almost over. Uh, I'd like to let you know that I did enjoy having you all on my boat today. I do hope that you all enjoyed being had. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant to say I enjoyed taking you all on the boat today. I truly hope you've all enjoyed being taken. All right, folks, I can see the dock again, and that does mean that this awful torture is almost over. I do hope you all enjoyed your trip down the River America today, and if you did, well, remember that my name is Dan, and this is the Mike Fink Keelboat Ride. If you didn't enjoy yourself today, then remember that my name was Julio, and this was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. <laughs> Yeah.